Hey guys, it's Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a May TBR video, and I finally got a library card for the city that I live in, so some of these books are from my local library. This month's TBR is a little bit more ambitious than previously. I read uh, quite a bit last month, so I decided to add more books in my TBR, so we'll see how far I get through into it. So the first book in my TBR is Never Let Me Go. Uh, this was in my April TBR, but I haven't quite finished it. I'm a little bit more than halfway through, and I actually plan on finishing it today. Um, the next one is a library book, and it's All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Anders. I have never actually uh, heard or read about this book. I read the uh, little suburb here and thought it sounded interesting. It's basically about magic and science. And there are two peop two main characters in this book, and one is supposed to represent science and one's supposed to represent magic. And it I think there's a war going on. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm looking forward to starting this book. Third book will be Coraline by Neil Gaiman. It is a short children's book. So I imagine it won't even take me a full day to read this. The next book is another book from my local library and it's American Fantastic Tales, Terror and the Uncanny from Poe to the Pulps, edited by Peter Straub. Basically, this is a collection of uh, horror, creepy, suspense stories that have been written in America. Um, and there's a whole bunch of stories in here. And we have a whole bunch of stories in here. This book is over 700 pages long, so I imagine it might take me a little bit longer to read this. And after I finish this one, I'm actually going to go back to the library and get the second volume of this one. Then I'll be reading another children's book, Wizard of Oz. I've never actually read The Wizard of Oz before. I don't think it'll take me more than a couple of days to read this either. The text is quite big. There's pictures in here. Next, I'll be reading The Fledglings Handbook by PC and by PC Cast. It's basically another book to go along with the House of Night series. I needed a break from Zoe's bullshit, so I'm reading this so I can have a break because I'm just done with the main character Zoe. So I will, I'm reading something that still goes with the series but is kind of separate from it. So, And this won't even take me more than a day to read either. It has lots of images in here and not very many words per page. Then, and this is the one I am anticipating the most for this month, is the complete uh, Cthulhu Mythos Tales by H.P. Lovecraft, and I love Cthulhu, The and it's also kind of become a meme now on the internet too, you know, my lord and savior Cthulhu, and we actually have a Cthulhu plushie at work and I've been wanting to get it, but I've never actually read the Cthulhu tales, and I believe all of them are in here, yes, I believe all the Cthulhu stories by H.P. Lovecraft are in here. And this version is not only really cool because it's shiny and has Cthulhu on it, but it also came with a poster. I've been meaning to get a frame for this poster. Here we go. Cthulhu! I don't know if you can see it with my... There we go. Isn't that cool? The only problem is because it's been in the book for so long now, the creases are pretty significant in the poster. That's okay. I still think it's a cool poster. And I want to put it up in my room. I think there's like at least 20 stories in this book. So it's going to take me a while to read. So I don't know if I'm going to get to the other two books that are on my TBR. And then I will be going back to the House of Night with Burned. Uh, I believe this one's more about Stevie Ray than Zoe. So we'll see. I like Stevie Ray a lot better than Zoe. So maybe this book will not irritate me as some of the previous ones have. And last but not least is The Murder of King Tut by James Patterson. I don't know if this is considered a historical fiction or I'm not exactly sure. This was actually gifted to me by my grandmother. I don't know if I'm going to get to it this month, but either way, I am looking forward to reading all these books this month. I probably won't go back to the library to get more books 
uh, from them until I finish this uh, TBR, whether I finish it in May or the following month, simply because I don't want to go ahead and check out a book and not get to that book and then have to go back in to uh, renew my checkouts. Those are the books I am planning to read this month. I am super excited to actually start reading books from the library. The library in my city is actually pretty cool and I don't know why I never got a, a library card sooner. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.